Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Wizarding Wiz. And yes, we are still doing the voiced over screen recordings, but that's okay because I have some awesome information for you guys today. Now, update 2.6.0 is live, and Android users, if you had an issue with it before, it has been fixed. It is safe to download, so go ahead and do that. Now, this brings a bunch of cool things and a lot of much needed bug fixes as per usual, but it also brings with it a few bugs. But let's start with the most exciting part because I actually uh, found this out before I even read what was in the update. And I think this is awesome. This is gonna save you on potions and this is gonna save you on uh, time and so many other things. Check this out. If you have, if you use a potion, for example, Extimulo potion, that is like, you know, the most basic one used in encounters and in uh, wizard challenges. If you get your spell cast on the first time, or you have any any amount of spell casting left on that Extimulo potion, you know, the regular one goes for three, the strong for four, and the potent for five. If you have any left over, they will now carry over to the next trace, or if you're in a wizarding challenge and you defeat the foe before you run out of Extimulo Potion, it will carry on to the next foe. So that is awesome, especially for potent Extimulo Potions, which one, they take forever to brew, and two, you only get the unicorn hair that you need for them out of port keys. Well, now... You can extend that Extimulo Potion just a little bit more. Even if it's only for one or two hits on your next foe, it is still better than having to use one every single time. This is personally my favorite, and I'm going to give you a little example right here. I recorded for you, so check this out. All right, guys, so here's the demonstration. Let me just throw the stuff on the pixie here that I need real quick, and we'll start this. And I want to show you guys... Because this is awesome. I was skeptical. I didn't think it was actually going to work. You know, because they do this stuff and it, and it glitches a lot. So we're just going to use a strong Extimulo here because that is should be all I need for this Pixie. Although I probably should take a health potion as well. So we're going to use that real quick too. But, you now if I can get this Pixie in under four moves, I'll show you. If not, you're going to have to bear with me and we'll do the werewolf or something next, whatever. I think I got two other things left over there. All right. Let's see. Come on, Pixie. Ah, man. It's going to leave me with... Ah, damn. Too bad. All right. Well, we'll try with the next one, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about as soon as I get this Pixie. All right. Quickly through that. Throw this stuff on here. I really want to show you guys this. This is freaking awesome. All right. Let me... You know what? Maybe I'll use a... Uh, oh, come on. Don't glitch on me. There we go. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll use a potent stimulo. I don't really need it against the werewolf, but it does give you one extra shot. So if it takes me four for this guy, you know, we'll, we'll have the, the thing there. So I'm actually like neutral against werewolves in fortresses, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah. See? All right, cool. So this is going to leave us with at least, at least two uses of the potion left. And I want to show you guys this because this is awesome. Boom, all right? Hit that werewolf. Now watch, watch, okay? We're gonna go put this stuff on this werewolf. This is our last werewolf here. And yeah, I know I'm running low on time, but not because I was struggling, because I had to go and set my screen recorder up so I can show you guys. Now look at, see that? Check that out. Still got two out of five hits, so I don't even need to use another one yet. So that is awesome that it carries over in fortresses. Now they say it carries over in traces too. I haven't checked that one out yet. So we'll go check that out in a minute. But first, let's finish up this werewolf and then we'll get back to the rest of the video. I probably did not need to use a potent extimulo potion for that or a strong extimulo potion for that. That's all right. Two hits, boom, boom, done. All right, now back to the rest of the video. So, like I said, guys, as you can see, that's pretty cool. I love the fact that it just carries over for you and you get to use it again without really having to waste any potions. That is awesome. Now, a little uh, 
a little less exciting, at, at least for me, is your uh, ministry ID portrait. You can now look at the photos and frames and stickers and all of that, backgrounds, whatever, that you get as rewards. You can now look at those without having to actually take a photograph again. You can use your current default photo, whatever you have as your photo. And of course, if you don't like it, you can not save it just as you can when you have to take the photo. Now, I haven't actually tried this one out, so there's no footage of that for you um, because I just have the uh, symbol for the Deathly Hallows as my portrait for right now. I changed it when there was that live portrait bug because I had a cool wavy background and it was bugging out my game. And yeah, so I've just left it since then. Uh, speaking of photos, you can now take a picture with an oddity encounter. Of course you can take it with an oddity encounter. It says that with a pixie. Excuse me. I misspoke. You can now take photos with your pixie in AR if you have the pixies. You all know how that works. So that could be a lot of fun. For those of you who like to take those AR photos and put them up on Instagrams and, and you know whatever other sites and share with your friends and stuff, you can now do that with pixies. I don't know why they're rolling it out so slowly. Kind of wish that they would just kind of be like, hey, you can take a picture with everything you have in your registry as long as you have the entire thing registered at least once. But hey, whatever. Roll it out slow. It's fine by me. Now, one more thing that I think is pretty cool, a little unnecessary, but still pretty cool, is this new alert system. And what this does is when you've completed your daily task, um, and a new achievement or you know quests during the brilliant event, you will now get a reward that drops down, pops up, whatever you want to call it, on the top of your screen telling you what it was that you've just achieved or completed. So say, for example, if you collect your first ingredient of the day, it will pop up and say, hey, you've collected your first ingredient of the day. Go get your reward. You know, a little unnecessary because you get the little red dot that says, hey, you completed something in here. Go check it out. But at the same time, it is pretty cool that you already get to see ahead of time what it is that you completed. Maybe you didn't know you were working on something, you know, or maybe you didn't realize you were as close to finishing that achievement as you were and you got it and now it's there. And that's pretty cool that it, it lets you know right away. Now, on top of all this, guys, there are various bug fixes as well as new bugs added. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but as per usual, there will be a link down in the description. You can go check out this website, which by the way, all of this information comes from Wizard Unite Hub. I will, like I said, leave the link in the description so you can go check out for yourself um, any of the bugs and see if any of them are related to you or you know what bugs have been fixed that have been bugging you. <laughs> now, there is one bug that I've noticed and I don't know if it's just for Android or if it's across every platform and it's just random players are getting it, but there is a new bug that when you complete a, uh, an, a trace encounter or even a wizarding challenge and you go to the reward screen, you know how it scrolls down there. Well, when you hit the XP point, it's telling you, or at least in my case, it's telling me uh, that I have leveled up. Now, I'm still 50,000 points or so away from leveling up, so there's no way that I leveled up off of an 80 XP pixie, but it is telling you uh, that you did. So, I don't know why. It is still registering the regular XP, like if you go look in your, in your uh, case there, it will show you the regular XP as if nothing is wrong. But for some reason on the readout of the rewards, it shows that you have leveled up even though you haven't. Now you don't, it doesn't go through the whole process of leveling up rewards or anything like that and showing you all of that because you haven't actually leveled up. It's just on that screen for whatever reason, it says that you did. Now guys, there is one more announcement. I don't have a whole lot of details on it yet, but I want to put you on your guard. There is another brilliant event, yay, coming very, very soon to Wizards Unite. I am not sure exact on day or time, but as soon as I get that information, I have heard a rumor that it's the 7th, but that's a little close. I don't know if they would do it like two days beforehand. They usually give us a week or so in advance before the brilliant event starts. So, I'm not sure if it is on the 7th or not because as of the time you're watching this, it'll be the 6th and so the 7th will be tomorrow and that's just kind of ridiculous to start it. Plus, they don't usually start towards the end of the week. They usually start in the beginning of the week. Anyway, there is another brilliant event coming and it should be here soon. So as soon as I get all the information for that, I will be sure to get it to you so that you can prepare for it. 
And that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you this information and the information on the Brilliant Event. So get out there and go check out some of these new things that have been implemented into the game. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, guys, stay safe and watch out for those Dementors.